And welcome back to UND.com. A chance to spend some time with one of the Irish tri captains, Natalie Novosel, the pride of Lexington, Kentucky. And uh, that hasn't been easy to be from Lexington, Kentucky sometimes. We're playing Kentucky and they're playing here. I mean, you've had a lot of those uh, experience where people said, that that's a girl should have gone to Kentucky, should have gone here, should have gone to Louisville. You know what? You've really carried the banner for Kentucky well in a Notre Dame uniform. Well, you know, I appreciate it. It's, it's fun because I'm the only person who's ever been from Kentucky to wear a Notre Dame. Um, uniform, so I, I, you know, I try and represent well, but at the same time, um, I always still want to beat the Kentucky teams when, when we play them, and um, I, I don't regret my decision. I love Notre Dame, and I'm happy I'm here. Well, I'll tell you what, we have had a chance to play teams like Louisville and Kentucky, and they've made us better. We're talking about the resume that this team has put together and the situations we've been in and up against, and i got to go back to Duke down in the Bahamas. Uh, we're down 18 in the second half, and I said during the broadcast, I said we're down 16, and then they scored, and I said they shouldn't have done that because we know how to come back from 18 down. Oh. And, and what a great, what a great comeback! Yeah, it was, uh, you know, an incredible team um, comeback and victory. We just did not play our game in the first half at all, and uh, to co to come from behind like that it really shows our exper experience and our in our maturity, how we've grown as a team. It's one of those things too, where you came back not just with offense, but you came back with defense, and people selling out for each other, knocking balls loose, and getting rebounds, and and that kind of thing, and it, and it came down to a final shot. And I know anybody on the team, you would say, could have taken the shot. Oh, yeah. But it was in your hands that time, and, you, and you, it was just a great great moment. The ball's out of your hands, the horn goes off, the yeah. ball goes in. What a great finish. It, it was just an unbelievable feeling, and um, it was just really surreal. And it was just an amazing finish to, to come from behind by so many, and then to have that kind of a finish, it was just a really great moment for us this year. A couple of tough weeks during the, uh, maybe two-thirds of the way through the season with some illness and things like that. You were on IV therapy, and, and uh, Ann Marquez was our MVP, I think, there for a couple of weeks, our oh, trainer. Absolutely. But when you, when you think about, you know, getting through that, and then we had a couple of times, we had five days, and we had a game, and we had six days, and you were able to catch up, and you came back, and playing your best basketball at the end of the season. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it was just, a, it was kind of a really bad time to get sick, and, um, but I was just able to bounce back well and um, finish the season strong, which was, which was what, what, what we wanted. So it was a huge. When you think about your career here at Notre Dame, you've had some outstanding games where you snuck in and stole Deverell Peters' rebounds. That's what she told me anyway. But yeah. over a thousand points in your career, which is uh, tremendous. You've become the best three-point shooter in the Big East, which is uh, just a lot of hard work. Nobody's in that gym at odd hours more than you are, and it's really there's no secret to it, is there? The harder you work, the luckier you get. Um, yeah, you know, I, I, I really believe that if you, if you work hard and, and um, you know make make prepare for what you what you want to accomplish, um, I think it's definitely anything's doable. When you think about the chemistry, and you've been through this now for four years, you've had to see different groups meld together and become a unit. Uh, last year, got so close to the national championship. I know when you saw the draw today, you're doing the numbers, you're looking at the matchups, you're looking at how we're going to, because nobody wants to finish the season without getting to Denver. Not at all. You know, I got to say, it wouldn't be a disappointment, but it was just, you know, I actually didn't think it would be, as a senior especially. Um, you know, last year we just didn't we slip, we let it slip out of our hands, and um, this year we definitely are not going to make that mistake. Well, I've been through a lot of great battles this year mm -hmm. and accomplished quite a bit. Regular season champions in the Big East, first time ever. Oh, yeah, it's just amazing. So proud to be a part of that, and um, just happy to make history here at Notre Dame as, as, as a senior. Well, Natalie Novus has been a big part of Notre Dame women's basketball, another chapter. They're a chapter every year, but yours is a four-year book, and it's oh. been terrific, and congratulations. Well, thanks, Bob. I appreciate it. All right, Natalie Novosel joining us here on UND.com. Our coverage of the uh, big drawing day, the uh, brackets announced for the NCAA tournament for 2012.